Hi, this is Annie Coburn, and I'm in Greenwich. I'm standing in the middle of what was once the Royal Naval Hospital, which later was transformed into the old Royal Naval College, and today is part of the University of Greenwich. Behind me is the Royal Observatory at Greenwich. This was originally built in order to establish longitude at sea. This is where Greenwich Mean Time is kept and also the famous prime meridian of the world. This was built by the famous Christopher Wren. The red ball that you see is raised at 1255 every day and drops at 1 p.m. This was to let the ships on the Thames River know exactly what time it was. To my left is the beautiful painted hall. It was part of the Naval Hospital and the roof was painted by Sir James Thornhill. What he depicted was a classical William and Mary bestowing peace and liberty on Europe. Lord Nelson received his last orders for the Battle of Trafalgar here. When he went to battle, he was told to retreat, but he held up the glass to his bad eye and he said, I see no signal to retreat. And he won the battle, of course, but he also lost his life. His body lay in state here at the Painted Hall until his burial. To my right is the chapel. It is a typical Rococo style. As you walk into the chapel, there is a painting there by Benjamin West, an American. It is really more famous for the organ and the acoustics than it is for the chapel itself. The organ was built by Samuel Green, who was one of the leading organ builders of the time in 1789. This is a functioning chapel, and the first Sunday of every month is a free concert recital with this famous organ. So, when you're in Greenwich, be sure and come by and visit what was once the military hospital.